How's it going guys? Dr. Adrian Chavez here with personaltrainingprep.com and in this video I want to talk to you about a motor unit, okay? So a motor unit is simply a motor neuron and all of the muscle fibers that that motor neuron innervates. I know you may be thinking, what's a motor neuron? And what does innervate mean? So let me go ahead and break that down for you. When you want to contract your muscles, you have to send a signal from your brain to the spot of contraction. So for example, if I want to contract my biceps, I have to send a signal from my brain down my spinal cord to the area of the muscle that I'm trying to contract. The end point, the end nerve cell that transmits that signal is called a motor neuron. The motor unit consists of a motor neuron and all of the muscle fibers that are innervated or that are um, receptive of that signal from the motor neuron, okay? So there are a couple of things you need to know about motor units. So you need to know that there's larger and smaller motor units and they control different types of activity. So larger mo motor units usually consist of one motor neuron and up to two to three thousand different muscle fibers. These types of, um, these types of motor units are responsible for strong forceful contractions um, and they're typically found in large muscles like the quadriceps, um, like the pectoralis muscles, like the back muscles as well. Um, and these are, are capable of large forceful contractions, but they're not capable of small, intricate, detail type contractions. So on the other hand, smaller motor units consist of one motor neuron and only about 10 different muscle fibers. And these types of motor units are capable of producing very intricate types of activities like the types of activities you can create with your hands, with your fingers, um, your eyelids are very small motor units. Um, so those are just a couple of examples. Another thing that you're going to need to know about motor units is this all or none principle. So what you need to know about this is when one muscle fiber is signaled to contract, the entire motor unit contracts. So you cannot contract part of a motor unit. When the signal is sent from the brain through the nerve cells to the motor neuron, the motor neuron signals the muscle fibers, all of the muscle fibers that it innervates to contract at one time. So that's what you need to know as far as the ACSM certified personal training exam goes. There's more details specifically about large and small motor units related to types of muscle fibers, but that's beyond the scope of this video. I just wanted to give a brief explanation of what a motor unit was, and hopefully this helps you guys when you're studying for the exam. I know it can get quite complicated when you're reading the textbooks, especially if you don't have any uh, background in science and, and exercise physiology. So if you're interested, I actually have a course um, called Master the ACSM Certified Personal Training Exam that goes through all of this and I try to break everything down into the most very basic way that I can and present only the information that's necessary for you to become an effective personal trainer and for you to pass the exam. So if you're interested in that, please go take a look. I'll have a link somewhere around here and you can go check that out. If not, no worries. Um, I, I hope you got something from this video. I hope this video clarified uh, this concept a bit for you. And I wish you the best of luck on the test, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.